Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can play sound effects on a key press, multiple keys. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I have a scene here from the asset store, but that's kind of irrelevant. I, I just kind of like the scene. I'm just using it as the background for all of this. I have five sound effects. Uh, I've got a drum sound effect, a hi-hat sound effect, snare, triangle, and wood. So we're going to set up uh, some different keys to play these actual sounds. And I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five set. You can set this up in any way you want for your keys. It, it doesn't really matter. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head to edit, project settings, and then on input. Now yours will probably look like this with 18 here and the last one being cancel. So I'm going to add five extra keys, which will mean the size then becomes 23 and it will create duplicates of whatever the last one is. In this case, we've got loads of cancels. So I'm going to call this one key and I'm going to put positive button number one and no alternative positive button. The second one, obviously, I'm going to put as two key and then two and no positive button, alt positive button, I should say. Uh, so yeah, you can see the process of what's happening here. All we're doing here is setting up a name for each of these keys on the keyboard itself. So Unity is able to recognize just by using a name the key we're pressing. Yes, we could use uh, specific key codes within the script. However, I like doing this because it gives me a bit more freedom to use names rather than uh, just, you know, code. So this final one is 5K and 5. And then we can close that. So this is all going to be done via a C-sharp script, but we need to have the actual sounds in the scene first. So on main camera, I'm going to create an empty object. I'm going to just rename this to 01 and then I'm going to drag and drop the first sound effect onto there and untick play on awake. Duplicate that again, change it to 02 and once again on to there. Same again. Now I do like to have my sound effects separate just because it, it's just the way I've always done it. There are obviously different ways of doing it uh, but sometimes the quick and easiest way is just to kind of cheat a little bit and do it like this. So we have all five sound effects there. None of them will play as soon as we start the scene, or they shouldn't do at least. So let's quickly check. Perfect. So now what we need to do is right click, create C sharp script. And within here, we're going to say sound tracker. I guess you can call it anything you want. It doesn't really matter too much in all honesty. Uh, let's get rid of void start. And we're going to say, uh, how should we do this? Let's go public game object and then square brackets because we're going to be using an array um, simply because it just makes things, I guess, a little bit shorter. And we'll call this sound FX semicolon. Now in void update, we need to say uh, if and in brackets, input dot, not input, input with a P, dot get button down. And in brackets and quotes, the name of the first one. So in this case, it's going to be, z uh, sorry, not zero, one key, and then open curly bracket. And now in here, we're going to say sound FX, and then in square brackets, zero dot in fact, that shouldn't be game object. That should be audio source, obviously. We're dealing with audio. Of course it should be audio source. And then that should be play, open close bracket. So you may be thinking, why are we using zero rather than one? The reason we're using zero is because when we're dealing with an array, the first number is zero. So there's going to be five items in the array being zero, one, two, three, and four. So all we need to do is take that and just make another quick one to say two and that's going to play sound effect the second sound effect but that's going to be element one and then the third one it's going to be three and that is going to be element two and then 
the fourth one is element three and then finally yeah you've guessed it i'm sure you're way ahead of me now guys so we've now set up each of those keys so save that script and head back into unity i'm going to attach this script to the main camera it doesn't really matter what um it's actually attached to so if i place it on the main camera and here we just need to click the arrow next to sound effects and change it to how many sound effects we have. So if you've got more than five, obviously you would change it to more than that. So size, five, and you can see zero, one, two, three, four, and that's what they relate to. Now, to bring these over, we need to actually lock the inspector panel. So we just need to click a little lock symbol at the top there, and then drag, zero, one, then two, and three, four, and five and then just make sure you click the lock symbol again to unlock it so if we press play now we should be able to press keys one two three four five and hear a sound well two didn't work that's because i've not typed it right hmm. two with a k let's save that and try again so if a sound doesn't play that's more than likely what's happened you may have mistyped just like i did so one, two, three, four. Four's not working. Why is four not working? Uh, let's clear our console. And let's try again. Let's try four. Four isn't working. Okay, so let's see why four isn't working. Uh, four key sound effects three. Uh, so it should be this one. Let's tick play on awake. Okay, so we may set it up incorrectly. So let's go to project settings, input, four key. We didn't set the positive button. There we go. So that's a good way of problem solving right there, just by coincidence. So if you have problems, there you go. That's more than likely how we're gonna solve it. So let's go through that sequence again. One, two, three, four, five. See, a nice kind of, I don't know, a drum beat. <laughs> Simple. And that is how you can actually use the keyboard to create a terrible sounding drum kit. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope that's helped. Um, that is how you can set up your keys to play sound effects as such. Uh, if you want to know any more, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you around in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, guys.